What's up you guys? That's a Vendetta here and today we are going to be doing another monster review. We're going to be reviewing Ardella, the Wind Magical Archer. And I did Ardella, I chose her because I wanted to find a speed nuke or damage dealer um, that could possibly take the place of the Chimeras and their Squall ability. Um, her second skill here is based off of attack speed, which is kind of the same thing as a Squall. Uh, we have, I don't have a Lagmaron, which is what I wanted to compare it to, but I have a Teor, and the second skill is essentially the same. I went right past him. There he is. Uh, so, the faster your attack speed, the greater the damage becomes. Um, it doesn't have, like, obviously all the other utility that Chimeras have, on, and she doesn't really compare in that sense. <coughs> Excuse me. I just want to look at the damage comparison on the second skill and see if, you know, it's a good three star possibility for those that don't have Chimeras. And having the speed nuker just in general is really beneficial for speed comps if you want to do like a stripper galleon and then a speed nuker um, for your really fast arena teams or guild war teams. So we're going to test her out in there. I'm also going to take her into a giant's run. Uh, maybe do one or two of those, see how she does. And uh, just play around with her a little bit. Uh, we'll go over her skills, go over her runes. A uh, couple different ways to use her, so we'll go, we'll go over all that. So starting off with her skills, Magic Arrow. Attacks the enemy with a magical arrow which casts various harmful effects according to the attribute relation between you and the enemy. The damage of this effect increases by 15% for each harmful effect on the enemy. So, um, increased damage by 15%, that's just kind of a bonus. Um, the harmful effect, now I'm not 100% sure on this, um, but I did read in a Reddit post that the, if she has attribute advantage, it will defense break. If attribute disadvantage, um, they will attack break, if I'm not mistaken, and attribute neutral, they will do the sleep buff. Um, we'll try to confirm that today. Um, I know for sure attribute advantage is the defense break. I don't really take her where she's at a disadvantage, so we'll test that out today and see what we can get there. Second skill, light arrow, attacks with an arrow that's lightning fast, the damage increases according to attack speed. So you want to max that out, it's on a two, cur two turn cooldown. So um, violent could be viable and maybe use it back to back, that would be kind of cool. Um, but we'll get into more of that in just a second. Um, and her passive, critical rate is increased by 25% and critical damage increases according to how much HP you've lost. So the lower amount of HP, see, HP she has, the more damage that she's going to do, and she gets an awesome 25% crit rate pop buff as a passive. Um, so really easy to get that crit rate that you need for the, um, the crit damage to take effect. And then she has this leader skill, increases the attack power of ally monsters with wind attribute by 35%. Really good, just a little bit better than Lucian's. Lucian's applies to all attributes though, not just wind. Um, but in my Giants team, it's almost all wind except for Galleon, so I like to... We'll use her in there. Now, rune-wise, I have her on Rageblade because I really saw the potential, or I wanted to see the potential in her nuke ability, her second skill, and I wanted to maximize as much crit damage as we could, and then with her uh, passive, the crit damage just goes up from there, and it can really result in a lot of damage. Excuse me. So let's take a look. Um, these are not... I have horrible luck with rage runes and I, I don't farm necro as often as I should. Um, so this is kind of what I'm stuck with. We have speed and crit rate on here. That's basically all that's on there, speed and crit rate. Um, got a good speed rage rune here with a little bit of crit rate. Um, it's the only speed rage rune I had so I had to take it. Speed, crit rate, again that's about it. It's got a bunch of defense but we don't really need that for her. Unless uh, we take her into rage, which we'll talk about. Raids, which we'll talk about in a second. Got a good crit damage rune, a little bit of speed. She's. I wonder how much her resistance is. Sixty percent. That is not intentional, guys. Uh, it was totally by accident. Um, we got crit rate and attack percent and speed, and then we have a five star attack percent rune with crit rate and crit damage. So this is how I built her because I want to use her mainly in guild battles and arena offense. But a lot of people like to use her in R5. Uh, she has a very high rune requirement, though, if you're going to use her in R5, and if you do that, um, she'll likely be best on Vampire to heal herself up, heal herself up with the damage that she does. Being a nat 3 star, 
her defense stats and her HP stats, the base stats are way low, so it takes really high rune requirements to get her up there. I don't have the vampire runes to show you guys that, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I got like one set and it's on... It's on somebody else. Thought I just six start. Um, Randy. It's on Randy. So, yeah, we're gonna go with Rage for the sake of this video, but you could also... I see Violent being viable because if the second skill is on such a low cooldown you could get lucky with a violent proc and use the skill back to back. Um, so I see that being really good. And then I like rage because of damage. Uh, you could possibly do fatal as well. So a lot of options. Um, but here we're going to go with the rage and see how she does. Um, so yeah, pretty much can be used anywhere. Like I said, a lot of people use her in R5. I'm going to use her in Giants. You can use her in Arena Offense, Guild War Offense. Um, and I think that's about it. But let's go ahead, we'll go in here. We're just gonna take her with a Galleon and a Bernard. Galleon and Bernard, and we'll use her leader skill. So we're just gonna defense break, give her a speed buff since her second skill is based on speed, and then we will see how much damage her second skill can do. See if it's worth bringing into. I mean, it probably needs to do at least 40,000 damage to be uh, considered nukeable. Um, a lot of times in Guild Wars and Arena Offense, you need something that's going to do that much damage, so it can at least one-shot something as your main nuker, that's what you want it to do, so we'll give the speed buff, defense break, turn down to one, and then we'll use her second skill, and let's see, 46,000 damage, that's pretty decent, um, that's not a ton of buffs, she does have an attack buff, she does have a speed buff, and they are defense broken, but it's not that hard to get. Um, especially since this is a popular comp, like I could just take this into a guild war right here um, and just pop somebody right off the start. Since she's she has a lot of speed, she's going to go more than likely before the enemy. Um, so let's just kill this real quick, and then we'll take a look at her first skill real quick. And let's see, with attack buff, speed buff, and defense break, 26,000 on first skill. So she does she does pretty decent damage um, and her HP is also maxed out so when you take her into something like raids or Giants B10 where her HP is going to drop down, she's, that damage is going to be increased. Not only that, not only will uh, the crit damage be increased but her first, first skill will do an extra 15% damage for every harmful effect. So raid bosses that have tons of harmful effects lined up, it's going to do more damage. Uh, Giants is going to have a couple debuffs on them, do more damage there. Um, so I think it's, um, we're just gonna this guy's gonna be this guy's. Um, I think that she's, she's pretty good damage-wise. Um, I like it. 46,000 is enough for me. Uh, let's go ahead, we'll take her into a Giants run with my team real quick. Normally, instead of her, I would be running the Water Kung Fu role. I love her, she's awesome. I did a review on her if you guys want to check her out. And we're just going to throw in here, I'm going to take her leader skill because I like the extra 5% on Teshar and Lucian. And we'll just start it. Make sure it's on auto. So yeah, I like her. Um, I think her damage is good enough. I love that it's on such a low cooldown. And when you're autoing, since there's no third skill, you don't have to worry about her like derping all the time and not using the appropriate skill. Because um, there's only two. It's a basic attack and a second skill. And it's up so often, especially when consider that she's speed-based monster, so she gets more turns than slow damage dealers. So, um, I don't want to say, you know, she can replace a Chimera, because obviously she doesn't have the third skill capabilities and the, the tankiness and the stats of a Nat 5, but I think for early players, or even late game players, if you want to build something kind of fun, um, she does enough damage. She's worth the 6 star, in my opinion, and, excuse me, she can, she can help you in Giants, she can help you in Guild Wars Arena often. So used all over the place. She's a fun monster in my opinion. Um, I think she's worth it. So you guys can check out her damage here. We'll do two runs of Giants just to, in case maybe it fails or if you want to see if there's a little bit of consistency. I did, th I did do this a couple times earlier today and it didn't fail. So I'm sure it will eventually, but it, it didn't this morning. So let's go through this real quick. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're going to fail here. I'm calling it. I'm calling it, unless Lucian can save the dick. Nope, okay, so we failed there. We'll do it one more time. Uh, that was kind of bad. The boss crit everybody when there's a defense break, defense break on our team. Um, but, you know, YOLO teams, it can't always be 100% consistent, so 
pretty sure we'll beat it this time since we just wiped. Uh, I did it about 10 times and we didn't have any failures, so should be good this time. And then after this, guys, we're going to do a couple arena matches. If we can, I'm going to check out my guild battle, see if there's anybody there we can do. Just play around with her a little bit. I would take her in our, our uh, five for you guys, but my our t my raid team is not um, going to do her any justice. Um, I'm around R4 right now consistently. Um, for some reason, my raid five team isn't up to par, and I'm probably going to be doing a video on that, showing where I'm at in raids and what I'm going to be do doing to improve that. So if you guys are struggling too around R3, R4, you feel like your monsters are good enough, you don't know why it's kind of succeeding, Go ahead and follow me because I'm going to be, I'm in the same spot as you guys and I'm going to be learning what I need and uh, building those monsters and getting the specific stats and you guys can follow me here and go along with me and we can both, we can all get to uh, Raid 5 together so. I definitely have the room potential, I have the monsters, it's just finding what needs to be where, maybe I have to build one extra monster, I'm not sure but we'll see. We'll see, I have Lisa, I have Annabelle as cleansers, I have plenty of damage dealers, um, so we'll we'll have to see how that goes. Obviously I have Colin, six starred, because she's a must. So yeah, this is a good run here. Should be fine, should be fine. There we go, to Shar. About a minute run. That's, ooh, that was, that was slow, that was slow for my average team. But I don't want to take her in there again. Um, I would like it, but the stats. No. All right, so let's check it out. We're gonna see if we can find any good matches to take her into um, some guild battles or some arenas. So let's start with guild battles. Okay, you guys. So we found one. I'm um, just gonna test it out here, see if it works or not. Uh, I need to take Chloe out, and we'll bring a stripper with us. But we have the galleon and the Bernard to give us attack buff, defense break, and speed buff. I'm hoping. We'll be able to nuke this Brian right off the start. We'll see. I know he's going to have a lot more defense than those little uh, wisps or whatever they were in that scenario, dude. But uh, we're going to take uh, we're going to take Praha. I can get to her. There she is. Okay, so we're going to take this, guys. We got the attack buff, the speed buff, the defense break. Uh, hopefully Chloe moves first, we'll take off all of her buffs, and then we'll one-shot hopefully the Bryant with um, our Ardella, and we'll see if this works out. So, we'll get up. Uh, damn, Chloe's too slow. This could pose a problem. We'll see. We'll try to stun the Chloe. Good. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're going to defense break. And then ooh, we'll even uh, try to weaken them a little bit, give her a little bit of food. There, come on, we got him. All right, so we'll check out her second skill. We'll put it down to one for this attack. See what it does on Brian. Hopefully, it does. A, it's, I'm gonna say with a, attacking a Brian, who's gonna have a lot of defense. Thirty-five thousand. I'm hoping. Um, if it's anything less than that, then it's not gonna be really reliable to take it. So hopefully, we'll we'll hit a good amount here. Let's check it out. Thirty-six. Not bad. 36 against more of a defense C type monster um, was enough to kill him, so I'm happy. We'll we'll take that. Got rid of the Rezzer right off the bat. Uh, boom. And we're oh, not yet, not yet. Uh, let's work on this. Veramos. Veramos is going to be our next target as soon as Chloe. There it is, Chloe Fanatic. So we're going to take Praha. Praha, please. She has been so bad for me lately, guys. Praha, please take off all these buffs, or at least just Veramos. Just take them off. Ah, uh, just, just not exactly not what I needed. Not the person I need to be focusing right now. Okay, so that we saw that um, attribute disadvantage was the sleep. So I'm assuming attribute neutral is the attack break. Uh, so for attribute advantage with Ardella with her first skill, that puts the random harmful effect on. If she has attribute advantage, it will defense break. Attribute disadvantage, it will sleep and attribute neutral, it will attack break. So you guys know what kind of buffs she'll land. Oops, I could have, uh, could have, could have buffed there. Okay. I'd really rather, rather not be working on this uh, Chloe right now, but that's okay. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do on an attribute disadvantage. Here we go. Yeah, not much. Not much say, so. We'll try to defense break. Perfect. 
Let's try to attack break him too. Let's try to stun this Chloe. Perfect. Perfect. And then we're gonna have to first skill him. Tw wow, 22,000. Good enough to kill him. That's on our first skill, guys, with no speed buff, just an attack buff. So all you, all you needed there was a Galleon. So I'm pretty impressed with that. I'm happy with it, guys. I just 6 starred her today, and she's not disappointing. I know we failed that Giant's run, but I think uh, she has the potential to definitely do it. So let's see if we can kill this just soon. Attack buff, defense break. 33,000. Alright, I'm convinced, guys. I think, I think she has really good potential, especially as a 3-star. Um, could... For a lot of people that don't have really good solid nukers, I think you could easily build her. She's easy to skill up. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there might even be a secret dungeon for her. I know um, that there is at least for the water one. That I'm 100% sure, and the fire one too, I believe. So if you have her, she should be very easy to skill up. And she's very easy to rune because of that third skill. Her passive gives her an extra 25% crit rate, guys. So when you're trying to go for a rage build where you're building crit damage, you always have to have at least about 70% crit rate. And with her, I think she's only like 57%. Let me check. Let me check. 66. Okay, she's at 66. So with her passive, that puts her at 71, 91% crit rate, guys. And did I do that right? 71, 91? Yeah, 71, 91% crit rate. And then with attribute advantage, that's a, it's a guaranteed crit, guys. So that's pretty awesome. Makes her very easy to build. Um, granted, you could do Fatal, you could do Rage, you could do Violent, uh, you name it. We're going to do one more. Let's just try to find one more guy, one more arena match. We'll keep this a short video. And cool. We'll. Hopefully we'll get to nuke the Theomars before he one-shots her. But it would be nice to see if she's faster than him. Her speed isn't super high. Like I said, I really don't have the best Rage Runes. I might put her on Fatal um, and test that out. So, okay, we're definitely faster than the Chloe here. And we'll just try to stun. Perfect. And defense break. Do we kill the Ariel or do we kill the Theomars? I'm curious to see if she can one-shot this aerial. So we might lose because I'm not going for this Theomars right off the bat, but I want to see if we can one-shot this aerial. So let's check it. Perfect, 38,000. That, that's, that's a good chunk of change, guys. I think that's definitely viable. Let me know what you think, um, but I think... Oh, come on, see? I knew it, guys. Whoa. Theomars is so smart. He knows exactly who to go for. And oh, it just kills me. That's um, Maybe we can still get him. We might still be able to. If we, okay, good. Yeah, he's pretty squishy. We'll turn those into dots. Thank you. Come on, Praha. Ding, ding. Sweet. Praha never does all three people for me or all four people. Praha, you came through today. You bay. You bay, Praha. All right. Let's see if we can get a stun. Stun, that's okay. Uh, let's just back down. I want to make sure we can kill him as soon as he comes up. We could have let the dots do it. Actually, they might have killed, so that's, that's a good thing. And let's... Hopefully we have the damage to still kill these two. I imagine we will. With Chloe's Fanatic, uh, we'll, let, we'll just keep turning those into dots. We should hit myself more speed there. Oh, but with the... You know what, guys? I'm not going to waste time. That's fine. I don't care. I'll take the loss. I wanted to show you Ardella. 38,000 damage on an aerial. Um, I think that's pretty good. I definitely think it's worth it. Um, I'm having fun with her. Uh, my Guild Lord's already done. Unfortunately, I haven't restarted a new one, so I can't show you guys her there. Excuse me, but I definitely think she's worth it. I think she's awesome. Uh, let me know what you guys think if you want to build her. If you tried out different runes too, it might it'd be really helpful if you guys put uh, the runes that you used in the description, or excuse me, in the comments below. That way, other people are checking out this video, they can look in there and be like, okay, so this is viable and kind of give people a, a different idea, that way I don't have to go through 10 different room sets or whatever just to show you guys, so if you could do that, I'd really appreciate it. And um, yeah, great monster, really like it. A little bit of news as far as my channel goes, I got a new camera and I got a new microphone, so hopefully the video quality is coming out a little bit better, guys. Um, tomorrow, or excuse me, tomorrow's Wednesday, so Thursday, I'm going to be opening 
I'm gonna buy this uh, legendary pack. We're gonna do the legendary scroll to two darks. And then I also, I plan on beating TOA hard by then, cross fingers. Um, I'm gonna record TOA 80 and hopefully TOA 90 hard tomorrow. And we'll get that up for you guys and we'll have fun stuff to summon on Thursday. So stay tuned guys, always more videos, always more content. Feel free to email me at the email above. I'm happy to respond back to you if you have questions, if you need me to look at your account, if you want me to do summons for you, anything, you name it. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Otherwise, leave a comment down below. Uh, like if you guys like the video. If you dislike the video, let me know what you didn't like. I'm happy to improve you guys. I'm still new to this whole thing, but I'm, I'm a quick learner. And just let me know what you guys want, what you don't like. And uh, we'll start making content that you guys enjoy watching. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you for watching the videos. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you. This is kind of what I'm stuck with. We have speed and crit rate on here. That's basically all that's on there, speed and crit rate. Uh, got a good speed rate drone here with a little bit of crit rate. Um, it's the only speed rate drone I had, so I had to take it. Speed, crit rate, again, that's about it. It's got a bunch of defense, but we don't really need that for her. Unless uh, we take her into rage, which we'll talk about. Raids, which we'll talk about in a second. Got a good crit damage rune, a little bit of speed. She's, I wonder how much her resistance is. 60%, that is not intentional, guys. Uh, it was totally by accident. Um, we got crit rate and attack percent and speed. And then we have a 5 star attack percent rune with crit rate and crit damage. So, this is how I built her, because I want to use her mainly in guild battles and arena offense. But a lot of people like to use her in R5. Uh, she has a very high rune requirement, though, if you're going to use her in R5, and if you do that, um, she'll likely be best on Vampire to heal herself up, heal herself up with the damage that she does. Being a nat 3 star, her defense stats and her HP stats, the base stats are way low, so it takes really high rune requirements to get her up there. I don't have the Vampire runes to show you guys that, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I got like one set, and it's on... It's on somebody else. Thought I just six star. Um, Randy. It's on Randy. So, yeah, we're gonna go with Rage for the sake of this video. But you could also, I see Violent being viable because if the second skill is on such a low cooldown, you could get lucky with a Violent proc and use the skill back to back. Um, so I see that being really good. And then I like Rage because of damage. Uh, you could possibly do Fatal as well. So a lot of options. Um, but here we're gonna go with the Rage and see how she does. Um, so yeah, pretty much can be used anywhere. Like I said, a lot of people use her in R5. I'm gonna use her in Giants. You can use her in Arena Offense, Guild War Offense. Um, and I think that's about it. But let's go ahead, we'll go in here. We're just gonna take her with a Galleon and a Bernard. Galleon and Bernard, and we'll use her leader skill. So we're just gonna defense break, give her a speed buff since her second skill is based on speed. And then we will see how much damage her second skill can do. See if it's worth bringing into. I mean, it probably needs to do at least 40,000 damage to be uh, considered nukeable. Um, a lot of times in Guild Wars and Arena Offense, you need. What's up, you guys? Vince of Vendetta here, and today we are going to be doing another monster review. We're going to be reviewing Ardella, the Wind Magical Archer. And I did Ardella, I chose her because. I wanted to find a speed nuker damage dealer um, that could possibly take the place of the Chimeras and their Squall ability. Um, her second skill here is based off of attack speed, which is kind of the same thing as a Squall. Uh, we have, I don't have a Lagmaron, which is what I wanted to compare it to, but I have a Teor, and the second skill is essentially the same. I went way past him. Here he is. Uh, so, the faster your attack speed, the greater the damage becomes. Um, it doesn't have, like, obviously all the other utility that Chimeras have, um, and she doesn't really compare in that sense. <coughs> Excuse me. I just want to look at the damage comparison on the second skill and see if, you know, it's a good three star possibility for those that don't have Chimeras. And having the speed nuker, just in general, is really beneficial for speed comps if you want to do like a stripper galleon and then a speed nuker um, for your really fast arena teams or guild war teams. So we're going to test her out in there. I'm also going to take her into a giant's run. Uh, maybe do one or two of those, see how she does. And uh, just play around with her a little bit. 
Um, we'll go over our skills, go over our runes, a uh, couple different ways to use her, so we'll go, we'll go over all that. So starting off with her skills, Magic Arrow. Attacks the enemy with a magical arrow which casts various harmful effects according to the attribute relation between you and the enemy. The damage of this effect increases by 15% for each harmful effect on the enemy. So, um, increased damage by 15%, that's just kind of a bonus. Um, the harmful effect, now I'm not 100% sure on this, um, but I did read in a Reddit post that the, if she has attribute advantage, it will defense break. If attribute disadvantage, um, they will attack break. If I'm not mistaken, in attribute neutral, they will do the sleep buff. Um, we'll try to confirm that today. Um, I know for sure attribute advantage is the defense break. I don't really take her where she's at a disadvantage, so we'll test that out today and see what we can get there. Second skill, light arrow, attacks with an arrow that's lightning fast. The damage increases according to attack speed. So you want to max that out. It's on a two, cur two turn cooldown. So, um,. Violent could be viable and maybe use it back to back. That would be kind of cool. Um, but we'll get into more of that in just a second. Um, and her passive critical rate is increased by 25%, and critical damage increases according to how much HP you've lost. So the lower amount of HP, see, HP she has, the more damage that she's going to do. And she gets an awesome 25% crit rate pop buff as a passive. Um, so, really easy to get that crit rate that you need. For the, um, for the crit damage to take effect. And then she has this leader skill, increases the attack power of ally monsters with wind attribute by 35%. Really good, just a little bit better than Lucian's. Lucian's applies to all attributes though, not just wind. Um, but in my Giants team, it's almost all wind except for Galleon, so I like to we'll use her in there. Now, rune wise, I have her on Rage Blade because I really saw the potential, or I wanted to see the potential in her nuke ability, her second skill. And I wanted to maximize as much crit damage as we could, and then with her uh, passive, the crit damage just goes up from there, and it can really result in a lot of damage. Excuse me. So let's take a look. Um, these are not... I have horrible luck with rage runes, and I, I don't farm necro as often as I should. Um, so this